Today we're at Cody Trout Ranch Camp in Cody, Wyoming. This is site one, and you can see we're on the end here. We've got some trees um, blocking our view, and we're the closest campsite to the exit. And it is a pull-through site, and it's full hookups. So I come around here, you can see it's a gravel site with some rock in between. And we've got a picnic table. No fire rings here. It's really, really windy. So um, fires just aren't able to happen. They do have a group fire pit though, over by like, the office with a beautiful view. So you can see it's a pretty big site. It would fit like most class days. I believe it's 60 feet long, I read. But we just decided to park behind it. And the dog park is right across the way from it. So on this side of our site, you can see we have a full sewer hookup. Um, the sewer is really clean and it screws on and it works. That's awesome. So not a lot of smells. And then we've got electric. There is 50 and 30 amp in the site, as you can see. And then water is on this side. So um, this site is a little noisy because you can see the car is kind of going over, you know, by on the road. Um, but at night, there's not really any traffic. So it's only noisy just during the day. And really it's not that bad. And then we've got these beautiful views from the front of our camper. In the morning the sun comes up this way, it looks really nice. And then here are the horses that are in the field next to us, which in the mornings they come up and they like to get their noses pet. Our campsite is right across the way from the dog park. And you can see it's rather large. There's a lot of room and it's grass. So lots of room for dogs to run and play. And they do provide um, bags to pick up after your dog as well. So here's some of the RV park. You can see you're kind of lined up, but you have enough space in between sites. And there's a lot of gravel. There's not any grass here. So there's kind of nicer stones, gravel in between the sites. And then you have gravel where your rig is parked. These are the restrooms and laundry area, and you can see each restroom is unisex. And here's the inside of the restroom. You can see there is an individual sink area with mirror and soap. And then you've got paper towel, seat cover, toilet, and then here's the shower. The bathroom smells really clean. It looks really clean. It's awesome. This is the ADA bathroom, and you can see it has a sink, mirror, soap, paper towel. Then you've got a large walk in shower with a seat and a hand one. Then you also have a toilet over here and you have um, toilet seat covers and there's also a heater in here so it's you know if you're here in the winter and it's cold you can warm up and then just look at the view from the bathroom it's an awesome view here so here's the laundry room it's open 24 hours and you come in there's three washers three dryers the washers are two dollars a cycle the dryers are um, 25 cents per, I'm probably guessing like eight or 10 minutes or so. The, um, there's a folding table, a laundry sink, some paper towels, a folded, folded up rack there, and there's laundry detergent in here. So um, yeah, it's a pretty clean and nice laundry room. And there are two more restrooms on the back side of the building. This is the coffee lounge where you can go in and self-serve coffee. And it's just a cute little one-room cabin with a little table, some stools, tables over here, and most importantly, coffee. Just beyond the bathrooms next to the coffee lounge, there is a playground with some swings and climbing equipment. The park has Pepsi and 7-Up machines available. There are teepees on site to stay in, 
and there's also a bunch more along the waterfront. There's even a rope swing, which this couple is very much enjoying. There's a communal fire pit that's stocked with firewood. This park even has a firearm store. And here's the office slash firearm store. In the office, they have a few little toiletry items and uh, small things to purchase in case you forgot them. And then on the other side, there's a firearm store where you can purchase like guns and ammo and things like that. Propane is available at this campground. The RV park has a small trout pond and you can either catch and release or you can keep the fish if you want to for a small fee. This is the view from the back of the park. The views from the park are amazing. You can even see snow caps there. And then you can see, here's the park. And here's the view from the field of the horses. If you get a spot on one of these back sites, like 31, 32, 33, um, you have really great unobstructed views of just hills and mountains and everything else that is Wyoming. <laughs>